Good morning everybody, welcome back. We are on part six and this will be the part, the final part of this uh, denim journal. And <clears throat> I'm not too sure, I've gone through and just with a paper clip here you can see, you know, where I've decided I've got things I need to add to it. And um, so we're just going to, first of all, I want to get the closure, which I've decided on, is going to be this seam binding. So I'm just going to cut this in half and get that on first thing. Sorry for the um, the noise today, guys. I've got printing going on in the background here. So I'm just going to set a couple of the eyelets here. Uh, let me get my ruler. Just going to make a little mark. I want to make sure that I get this center. It's a bit more difficult uh, setting eyelets through the fabric, and particularly this one's probably going to be a little bit tricky because I got quite a bit. Um, quite a few layers there, so just try to snip that out a little bit. Okay, and I'm not going to cut the um, seam binding back because I don't know how chunky this journal is going to be, but I've got a feeling it's going to be pretty big. <laughs> Alright, so let's just jump on in. This was just a um, little window envelope. And all I did here was just flip it back over so that now you've got a pocket here. And then I did a little notch there with a one inch and I lined it <coughs> with some papers and stamped it and stitched it. So I've just actually got this pinned in here 
but what I wanted to do with this one is make a really pretty um, paper clip. So we'll do that quickly for this, an altered paper clip. Let me see what I've got here. Just clean that one up a little bit. Let's, let me see if I've got some. Actually, that's okay. Alrighty, let me see what I'm going to do with this because I want to make a really pretty um, paper clip with some of these scrap papers. Isn't that just such pretty paper? So I'm just going to put this over. Actually, I'll do it this way. Because I like the idea. Whoops, sorry about that. Gosh. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, I don't know, guys. It just feels like everything is happening. <laughs> All right, let me just get that. Tucked over. I'm going to run it to the machine and just do a little stitch there. And I've just got these little burlap flowers. I'm just going to take one that's kind of the natural color and see if I can do something with that. Okay, let me see, maybe a little bit of cheesecloth. This was just um, something that was gifted to me, uh, gosh, years ago from um, one of my crafting buddies here. <coughs> and just run across it, so I think I'm actually going to make use of that.
let me just snip this quickly. And then we've got our little banner. So that was pretty quick, wasn't it? And then I can add <clears throat> two tags to this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do that um, later. All I want to do now is just show you guys the pockets. I've added a tag here into this pocket that we made because I know I want to do, do that. And then this little flip over, I went ahead and added a pocket to remind me to do something there. This is an embellishment that um, I've made. So it's like a little tri-fold. So there'll be some additional writing space here and that's just clipped to that little... This is one of those mailers so there's also a pocket back here. And then here we've got room to add something and this is just some papers. I've showed these before. One day I sat down with all of my scraps and just made um, the Franken pages and backed them to book pages. And so here I've got one of these cut out just to add here its little pocket. Just gonna do a little cut out there. And sometimes when you've got that stitching, you're just gonna have to snip a little bit more. Okay, and that's gonna go in there for another pocket. So I'll have to make a tag um, for that as well. And then I'm going to add a, a tag to that pocket. These are It's just <coughs> a little way for me to remember. That's our center. Same thing here. I'll put some journal cards or something in this one. And then want something else. I'm going to just use another Franken page pocket here. So that's going to give quite a few places to add you know, uh, memorabilia and I don't know what I'll do. I might do something on that page as well. And then this is the mailer. I know I'm going to want to do something there. And then this back here is getting pretty full but I think I need to do something on this page. So let me clip that together and see. This was a little, it's a little tag. 
with the pocket here and then I'm going to have it to where it's glued so that there's a pocket behind as well. And I think that's just going to be perfect right there. Actually, I'm going to make it into a tuck because that's been rounded. I think that's going to be really pretty. So, for example, if this is a journal card that's going to be open, then you've got, <coughs> excuse me, the tag here and then another pocket here to add things. So I like that. I think that's really, really cute. Alrighty, so I'll just have to add something there. Okay, back here, let's just go ahead and get this. I'm just going to add a little bit of lace to this. Gosh, I could have cut that a bit longer. But we'll make it work. There. Okay, so here we are. That's going to flip up writing. This opens. That will flip down. You could add a really nice photo there. We've got the pocket back here. And then the pocket here. So I know this one's going to need a tiny tag of some sort. That might be too small. It is too small. And um, then here I feel like this needs mm, I've got another one to add. I forgot. You saw I made these on uh, my YouTube channel, so I think this, where can I put that? And that's going to create a really pretty little tuck spot there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that so that could be drying. Okay, I'm going to leave that, let that dry. So now let's just flip back to the front. I'm just going to get a little snippet made for this. Trying to figure out how to to make something here. I kind of like the idea of something along that section. But 
then again, that's got to be able to flip open. Hmm. Unless I just do something the length of that, which I think I will. If I just have something along there. It just needs something to break up this brown, I think. What else? What else? Sorry, guys. It's so. Um, <clears throat> I just I feel like there's got to be something else. I know I'm gonna have a tag there. I don't know. I can't seem to find one, but I'm just going to pop that in there for now because it helps me to visualize what I think I need here. There's definitely got to be something. Okay, let me get that down and maybe I can... Actually, maybe if I just took something like this, for example, and just do some lace along there, that might be what it's needing to just break that up a bit. So let me do that. Let me come up with some, a little snippet, I think. I think that's, and then this is, these are little, I think they were stickers. Let me see if I can, come on, come on, <laughs> you know what, can't be dealing with all that, I'll just put some glue on there. I just like the idea of that under there. And then you've still got some of the writing. Okay, now let me grab my fabric tag. Just get a little bit of it under here. Okay, uh, let me see if I got a little. Gosh, 
gosh, how long I've had these Stampin' Up jewels. <laughs> I just want to use all the stuff up, guys. Really, really do. I just feel like it's just, I don't know if you guys are like that, but I get overwhelmed sometimes with my crafting space. And that's why you probably see me going through it so much, because I just, I have to have everything organized. Uh, I mean, I'm not great. I'm not like OCD or anything, but uh, let me see. Yeah, I, I like that. I'm happy with that now. It just felt like too much, and I'm wondering even just something, just a little something up there. Just to break up this, I'm going to do that. All that is is just a little off cut, and I'm just going to add some ink there. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that piece of paper doesn't want to cooperate. So, I don't know why this has come to my mind, but Daisy, that little dog, I don't know why. She's She's got kind of a ner nervous energy. Well, she's taken to... Um, chewing on her paws and oh my gosh she can't even walk now they're that sore so I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on her today because if she, if I can't get her to stop it I, I put ointment on there that we've used in the past to try to break it but if I can't get her to stop I think we're gonna have to take her back to the vet oh she's so naughty it's just nervous habit she's got and um she just goes from one paw to the other. You get one sorted, and then you look, and she's got three more that are bad. <laughs> oh, these dogs. Okay, I really am happy with that now. So that's going to flip up. I mean, that I'm not mad on that hanging. I shouldn't have had it hang over that much, but I wanted to see those. So, eh, it is what it is, so... So that'll give a writing space. This will open for a bit more. Or actually, it might be better to open it up there, document things. And then here, got that, got this tuck. I'm going to add something to before I list this. So there's still a few places I'm going to, I'm going to go through and decide um, if I want tuck spots, belly bands, um, and then obviously I've still got tags I've got to create, but this just um, shows you how you can achieve that look that you've seen if, if you're um, new to journaling or maybe you haven't ventured off into um, working with the fabrics yet, because <clears throat> I'm not a very good at sewing, but I... I've taught myself enough that I've been successful with um, the journal covers. Oh yeah, I'll do a, a tag for that one as well. Um, but there are a couple more things you're going to see in this when um, I do the final flip through. But Because uh, this is one of the things you're going to see. I'm, I'm doing a tutorial for you guys on this. Um, and that will be incorporated into this as well, but it's timing. I'm not sure if that's going to come out before you see this part. I don't know. It, it all depends um, because I want to... Sorry, guys, I ran out of time. That's the first time that's happened. I'm so sorry. So anyways, I'm not sure how the timing's going to be. You may have already seen that project. Or this may come out and you might be thinking, well, when, where is that? But this will be a patron video as well. So that will be going in here. And like I said, before I list this, I've got other things to do. But that hopefully has um, answered any questions on how I, the process of how I design my covers um, and how I get, you know, things layered the way I do. 
So if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this course. I've certainly enjoyed going through it with you. And um, yeah, I'd love to see what you guys get up to if you make these. I'd love to know, and obviously I'd, I'd really appreciate it if you would, um, if you're sharing on any of the social media platforms, if you would give me a mention, that would be great. Um, I'd really appreciate it. All right, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll be back soon. Bye.